Now, one of the big keys to upgrading your ball striking consistency is to get your golf club swinging on plane. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what that is and exactly how to achieve it. Let's get into it. Thanks for tuning in guys, Kerry Gray here back in the studio at Joondalup Resort. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the great content coming your way for the rest of the year. Alrighty, today's video all about getting your golf club swinging on plane. So let's talk exactly what that is. Well, in the golf swing, when we set up to a golf ball, we have an angle to which this shaft is located. And in a simplistic manner, we want this golf club swinging relatively around that angle that was established at address in the back swing and in the downswing coming into impact and then also in the follow through. And because of this, because we have bend from the hips and because golf clubs are designed in such a way that this is the key to getting a little bit more consistency with how we can deliver that golf club back to the ball. So for example, if I set up to the golf ball and my golf club doesn't work on plane in the backswing, and let's say the handle of the golf club comes a little bit too far on the inside, well, that's gonna mean at some stage, I'm going to have to make some compensation if I'm gonna strike that ball in a predictable manner. Now, don't get me wrong, there's major champions who have won tournaments from getting the golf club working out in this direction and in this direction. However, what they all do from this halfway down position coming towards the golf ball is they get that golf club working nicely back into the golf ball, therefore giving them some predictability and some consistency to their strike. So for those of us who don't get the chance to practice as much as PGA Tour players do, we need to make our action a little bit more orthodox so we're not so reliant on compensations and timing from round to round. And this exercise, a great drill using two alignment sticks, I'm gonna show you a way in which you can help get that golf swing working a little bit more on playing. So I've got one alignment stick down on the ground here, which is an extension of where the ball is. And then another one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grip the underside of the club here. So we're gonna position it just like this. And from the address position, what we wanna do is we wanna set up to this golf ball, put the club behind the ball, and then in the address position, we're gonna have this alignment stick leading up against the lead hip. Now, for me, being a right-hander, that's up against my left hip, and it might feel like, for some of you, that the handle is pressed a little bit further forward than normal, but that's okay. So, once we've done this, and the first stage of the backswing is going to be in the halfway checkpoint here, when the club shaft is parallel. And what I want you to notice is when you rehearse this little exercise, we want that stick still press up against that hip. Now, for a lot of you, as you move this golf club away, if you tend to roll the golf club on the inside, you'll see that the stick will separate and lift away from the body. Or in fact, if you tend to lift it up, you'll see it will get vertical too quickly. So to get this club set in a good position in that first takeaway segment, we wanna see that by the time that the club shaft is parallel to the ground, that that stick is still pressed up against the lead hip. Now from here, this is the next key stage. We've got that stick on the ground and the reason we've got that is we actually wanna get from this position, that club now beginning to trace that stick down on the ground. So if you can imagine that this was an extension of the shaft pointing all the way down, you can see how that would be very close to pointing at that yellow alignment rod that I've got on the ground. Now from this stage, a lot of you, as you move the golf club back, even if you get into this really good position, for those of you who tend to pull your arms around your body, you'll tend to get this club shaft too vertical. Or if you're someone who lifts the club, you can see now the stick is pointing too far out from the golf ball. So now, as we set up from here, we're gonna move it back into this halfway position, sticks up against the lead hip. And then as we then transition to the top of the backswing, we can see that alignment stick trace along that yellow line. Now, the first couple of times you do this, you might find it a little bit difficult to coordinate you might feel that there's a bit of a lifting and rotation to your arms, and that is okay. So as we start, we're gonna move back into this checkpoint, and I would just do this a few times back and forth, just getting a really good feeling of that new movement. Now from here, let's make sure our body continues to turn. We create a little bit of wrist hinge, and as you can see, as I set that, now it's pointing down at that yellow alignment rod. So just so you've got the face on reference for this, from when I set up into the first parallel, we can see that we've got a nice wide takeaway. The distance of the handle is staying relative from where it started at address in regards to my belt buckle. And then from here, the next stage, just imagining that alignment stick was in the same spot. 
As I then continue my turn, you can see my wrists are setting. I'm creating an L-shaped structure between my lead arm and the club shaft. And then the extension, this alignment rod here, would be pointing down at that imaginary lining rod that I've got set down on the ground. Now, from the top of the swing, we're looking for to get this golf club as we shift towards the target, back down into this parallel position where the hands are in front of the right leg and this club shaft, once again, parallel, but also matching the yellow alignment rod that I've got down on the ground. So from the address, we're gonna to swing to the top. We're pointing it at this alignment rod here. And then as we shift down, get into this position, we can see that that club shaft matches the yellow alignment rod. And this will help me get that right back into the slot to deliver that golf club consistently. Now, this is what we call a dry drill. You don't actually need to hit golf balls doing this whatsoever. It's just helping you get a new feeling of how that golf club needs to work around your body. Very similar to this, if we were to simplify the golf swing and we were to make it a horizontal plane action. So in golf, the ball's on the ground, so we have bend from our hips to accommodate the plane of the shaft. But if we were to stand up and we were to put this golf club level with the ground, if we were to simply just keep this golf club shaft level with the ground in the backswing and tilt forward into our golf swing posture, well, once again, we create that same angle where that club shaft would be forming an extension down towards the alignment rod. And then as we were then continuing back towards to hit the golf ball, bend over once again, we can see parallel moving all the way into the golf ball. So this just creates more of a repeatable fashion so that you're able to get that golf club more in a predictable manner coming back and striking that golf ball. So if you ever film your swing and it looks like there's a few loops happening, you can see that the club's working a little bit inside and over the top. Well, this is a great two-stage drill where you put the alignment rod up against the lead hip, you move back into the halfway back position. From there, you continue to add a little bit of wrist set and arm fold, point the alignment stick at that one down on the ground, bring it back down into this position where it's matching it, and then back into the golf ball. So if you're struggling with your consistency, I want you to try this alignment rod drill to work on the plane of your swing, and I'm sure it will help. As always, if you've got any questions, please ask me down below. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.